So the first thing to talk about when talking about any type of phone system is the PBX. And in order to discuss a PBX or what type of PBX you should get or whether you should have it hosted locally at your business or in the cloud, you have to know what a PBX is and what it actually does. PBX stands for Private Branch Exchange. So private, meaning that is what the phones within your organization are going to communicate before they communicate with the public network on the outside world. So for example, if I wanted to call the receptionist here, I dial 101 on my phone, and then the receptionist phone will ring. So the way this is going to work, so let me just bring up Microsoft Paint here and show you a fairly crude representation of how this may work. So this is going to be used for internal communications. So the PBX is going to route my call from my phone. It's going to go to the PBX server, and then it's going to go to the receptionist phone. So that's the way that this is going to work. So this is going to allow internal communications. So this is all being done within my network, and this is all being done within the private branch exchange. The call is not leaving past the private branch exchange. Now, that is what the PBX does. The PBX can also handle many other features. It handles things like call recording. It handles things like voicemail. So I have my voicemails stored on the PBX. When I want to access my voicemails, I can either call the PBX's voicemail extension, like star 96 or star 97, or if I want visual voicemail, I can view the voicemails on the computer. So let's say I want to view the voicemails at my extension. I can do something like this. Let's just open a window over here. Four. Let's go over and view it. So if I want to view voicemails at my extension, now obviously I'm going to leave out the numbers and the f names because I don't feel like having people call my customer base, but this is another thing that the PBX does. It deals with things like voicemail. So once the call is made and it's not picked up, it gets routed back to the PBX, and then, the vo and then they have the option to leave a voicemail, and that gets stuck here. That's another feature of the PBX. The PBX also handles functions such as ring groups. So what's a ring group? So a ring group is, you know, when you call this phone number, does every extension at that business ring or does only the receptionist extension ring? So for example, if you have a customer service phone number for a company, you may want that customer service phone number to ring the receptionist, but you don't want that customer service phone number to ring the boss or the warehouse manager or the inventory manager or the janitor. You only want that ringing a certain set of people. So what you can do with it, what the PBX is going to do, it's pretty much your interface between the outside world and the inside world. So the PBX deals with all of the communications that occur on the phone system within your locale. So with old systems, before we had digital and voice over IP systems where you're pretty much transmitting data, so the PBX is essentially a computer. Before that, a long time ago, we had analog PBXs, where this was done just via wire routing, so every single building would have a PBX. It was an analog PBX. All the phones would hook into this analog PBX, and the routing was hardwired. Now it's done just via, via software. So the PBX is going to handle that. So you can have multiple numbers at a business, and those different phone numbers, when, when you call them from a cell phone, could actually ring different extensions within that business. So let's just go over how, how that could work within this PBX. OK, so here's one example. So for example, this is a ring group. So the way that this is going to work is that when you call my, the, my phone number, this, there's a ring group created that rings 101, 201, 301, and 401. And the calls are going to go to this voicemail box if, the, if I'm busy or if I don't pick up. So if I don't pick up the phone, the voicemail will be defaulted to the voicemail box of 101, which is the receptionist voicemail box. So the voicemail is not going to go to everybody's, it's just going to go to one. And when you call this number, so this inbound call route, so when you call my business phone number, it's set up to ring this ring group. So the whole idea is you can have different phone numbers at your business, and those different phone numbers can be set up to ring different, uh, different groups of phones. So you know, again, you can have a different phone number for the executive office than you do for customer service. So this is another functionality of the PBX. Now, the second thing that we have to discuss is PSTN, which is the Public Switched Telephone Network. This is going to be kind of like the opposite of your PBX. So the PBX is what's used to interface with all of the phones within your business, within your local network. Now, PSTN is the rest of the world. So if I am going to use my business phone to call the locksmith or to call the pizzeria or to call my friend's cell phone, now I'm going to be going out to the public switch telephone network. So the phone call is going to look something like this. 
So when I'm call making a call within my local business, my phone talks to the PBX, and then it talks to the receptionist's phone. If I'm going to make a call outside my local business, let's say that I'm going to make a call to the pizzeria or to the locksmith or to somebody's cell phone, my phone is then going to talk to my PBX. My PBX is going to realize that this is not a local number. It's going to realize that that's a number that's outside of my PBX. It's going to realize that that's something outside of my network. So it is then going to try to use one of my outbound routes, and it's going to go to my voice over IP services provider. So in this case, my the phone company that I pay is a company called Voice Pulse. So that's going to go to Voice Pulse, uh, VOIP, trunk, service, provider. I should actually call it SIP trunk. But yeah, just to keep it simple. That's VOI. So that's the VOIP services provider that I use, which is Voice Pulse. They're very, very good. Their, their service has always worked for me. Now, Voice Pulse is then going to connect me to the public switched telephone network. The public switched telephone network is the rest of the world. So again, inside my PBX, my PBX is going to be dealing with all of my internal phones. The public switched telephone network is what's going to be dealing with the rest of the world. So I'm going to take another line over here, and we're just going to go to PTSN, PSTN, public switch telephone network. Make another little line. And then from here, I can go to, you know, let's, you know, we're just going to draw different lines of different things. So from here, I can go to, you know, the pizzeria or, so you get the idea. So that is the difference between a PBX and PSTN, and those are the purposes for each. So the PBX is going to deal with the phones on my local network, and the public switch telephone network is going to deal with the phones that are out there in the rest of the world. So again, the PBX is going to be dealing with, let's say, the technician versus the salesperson versus the receptionist versus the janitor versus the company owner's phone. So all of those phones attached to the PBX. The PBX then attaches to a voice over IP services provider, and the voice over IP services provider then attaches your PBX to the rest of the world. Now, the one thing that I want you to take away from this is that the PBX's functionality is allowing each one of your individual extensions to attach to it. So your PBX is the box that knows how many phones you have. So in this configuration that I have here, in this configuration that I have here, where this stuff is located within my business, so let's say that I have this stuff. Let's find the, here we go. Let's just make a red line. So when everything within red is within my local business, I know how many phones I have. Everything within red box is isolated to me. No one else knows how many phones I have. Now, this is going to become important later. You may wonder, why does it matter that only I know how many phones I have? And we're going to get into that when we start talking about setting up a PBX in the cloud versus having a PBX here. So if I have a 1,000 phones behind this PBX server or one phone hidden behind this PBX server, the VOIP services provider, they don't know how many phones I have. The only thing that the voice over IP services provider knows is with the numbers that I'm calling. So they know the numbers that I'm trying to contact. They know whether or not I'm trying to contact the pizzeria or the YMCA or some cell phone. And they know the times of the phone calls. That's all the voice over IP services provider is going to know. They're not going to know the exact number of phones that are sitting behind my PBX, my private branch exchange server. 